So when I was a sophomore, I was a chemist. I'd always been fascinated by space, but it actually never occurred to me that I could have a job working in the space program. But I saw a flyer for a summer internship at NASA, a place called the Lunar and Planetary Institute in Houston. And I went and I cold called Professor Sue Wyckoff, who was a professor of astronomy. She picked up the phone and helped me get this summer internship at NASA, which, which really changed my life. I'm of course incredibly proud of the fact that Lori is a distinguished alum of ASU, but she was also a professor here at ASU from about 1998 through 2005, and she was just hugely influential in my own decision to come to ASU. She's a leader. She's a leader that inspires other people to do their very best. And she was one of the key drivers, in fact, key drivers and key supporters of the creation of the School of Earth and Space Exploration. She's a powerful thinker, a powerful creator. She was here at the beginning of the New American University idea. She helped us launch one of the most important schools that we have, our School for Earth and Space Exploration. She is an intellectual leader, national leader, and hey, she's the head of the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, which is exploring the solar system, so it's really fantastic. ASU, through CC, is one of our great partners at JPL. We're thrilled to have so many scientists from CC involved in our missions. We're thrilled to have so many students from ASU coming to the lab and becoming a part of our team. Space is hard, and the Jet Propulsion Laboratory is at the cutting edge of the hardest part of space. But Lori Leshen doesn't shy away from that. She's data-driven, she's a great inquisitor, but she also leads in a textbook fashion of how do you get the very best out of your people. She isn't just someone capable of rocket science. The rocket scientists report to her. So she's been breaking glass ceilings for, for a while now. So I'm very aware in all of my firsts kind of roles, at, at whether that be president of WPI or as director of JPL, of the shoulders I stand on. That's, that's my mom and, and her leadership, but that's also the women that came before me. You know, Laurie is the picture of Arizona State University. She's brilliant, she's capable, she is dedicated, she works really hard, but she also has fun. So our mission at JPL is amazing. We get to explore the frontiers of space. So my job as a leader is to really enable everyone to contribute to that mission and to make that mission really clear to everyone, to help people see their place within it, and then to try to knock down barriers to people being successful in, in doing their jobs. ASU and JPL have had a long-standing relationship on a variety of projects, on spacecraft missions, and I'm sure that that's only going to get stronger with Lori at the helm at JPL. So at JPL we say, dare mighty things together. Everything we're doing is team-based, and we're trying to do things that have never been done before. Lori Leshen is a leader. She's an inspiration. She inspires people, young and old, to take seriously the tough topics like science and space. She causes people to find the discovery in science. So learning is such a big part of what we do at JPL. And for me, that really connects our work to great universities like ASU, because that's where we all learn to learn. I know I did at ASU. That's where I learned to learn. So anyone who knows Lori knows that she is a force of nature. So um, I'm just super excited to see what's ahead for her and what's ahead for JPL. It's an exciting time to be alive, and Lori Leshen is on the cutting edge of some of the most exciting discoveries that humans are making right now. I'm incredibly grateful for everything that ASU has done for me from the age of nine through being a faculty member and continuing partnership today, and especially grateful for this honor. So thank you, Sun Devils. <laughs>